She's had, I think, management staff issues really since she was a DA in, in San Francisco. So this is something that it will be a liability, obviously, building a, a national campaign in a very short period of time, basically building a plane while you're flying it, is challenging to begin with. You've and then lived, if you've, but you've lived this. Do they change? Can she improve well, look, she has team a, building? I mean, there is a lot. There are a lot of tailwinds, to continue the airplane metaphor. Um, <laughs> she has, uh, I mean, she has the entire kind of Democratic Party apparatus. She has lots of national figures who are endorsing her and supporting her. So people are incredibly incentivized to see her succeed. In some ways, she might actually benefit from a shorter campaign yep. because you don't have the time to sort of pick pick her apart, pick the campaign apart that you would in just sort of a general, uh, you know, general election cycle. So this is so extraordinary. I'm not, I don't think those are going to be the things that are really going to weigh on voters. But I think her liability, though, is that platform that she ran on in 2020. And of course, for the Democrats, they may not be an issue. But to get those swing voters in those six states that she needs to in order to win the presidency, uh, the fact that she has advocated for Medicare for all, the fact that she basically is, you know, talked about open borders or what have you, or, or fewer, you know, uh, repercussions for folks coming over the border. I mean, all of those things will plague her. So, Tom, to your question, does her, is it, will her management style, maybe that will plague her? Maybe. But is that going to be the big headwind going into November? Probably not. It's going to be more of trying to defend that record. It seems like the Democrats have some renewed momentum here. What are you telling the fund managers at PIMCO about what's happened over the last you know, 72 hours and what the next several months might entail. Yeah, what are you the PMs? yeah of course, while the horse race may or may not be interesting, the thing right. that our traders really care about is like, what does this mean for, for the economy? What does this mean for markets? And I think that in many ways, this is just reset the race, mm -hmm. right? And so if you were, if you were putting odds on a Biden presidency and a, and a, and, a and, and sort of the composition of Congress, you would have said, wow, the, you know, the chips are really stacked in favor of, of Republicans last week. That has changed. Okay. And I think that is um, not only the top of the ballot, but really the down ballot. I mean, the composition of Congress really matters for the things that actually investors care about, for fiscal policy, for tax, and for, for spending. And a Republican sweep looked like it was much more likely as of last week than it does today. Um, so of course, it's still, it's still early days in how Harris will, will do uh, versus Trump. But there is so much more renewed enthusiasm. And I think the big challenge for Democrats going into the general, if Biden were on the top of the ticket, was lack of enthusiasm. And that, that has changed.